So very quick update, uh, I am going to have breakfast, I really enjoyed yesterday, I forgot to tell you about the beer cheese, very tasty, I bought that yesterday, um, but yeah, I'm, I've got my phone charging, I'm about to go for breakfast, and then we're heading out to a museum, and I'm going to film around there, and hotel review, 10 out of 10, ignore my other one about the shower, because a lot of showers are like that anyway, 10 out of 10, this hotel's good. Whoa, very, very sunny here. Um, we are just out of the hotel. We just checked out, um, but we've left the luggage in the cabinet, uh, the small little um, luggage hold that they have. That's really useful. Um, yeah. I do, we just told the guy who manages the hotel, uh, or one of the managers, how uh, convenient and awesome the hotel was and how comfortable the beds were and everything like that. We're having just a bit of a walk to the tram stop and um, hopefully get some nice shots of the house museum. So it turns out you are allowed cameras in here, so hello. We're just about to head into the museum now. I'm putting my coat in the clocker, clocker, yep. The clocker room. Wow, that was really, really cool. Um, most of it was audio guide, so I just did a little montage of what's around there. But wow, that was so cool. Learning about how the houses are built in Amsterdam. They've got like little poles, loads and loads of poles underneath the houses. Um, and that's what supports them. Uh, and it's just really, really interesting to know how like a, a structure is built on marshland, which is what essentially uh, the city is built upon and founded upon. So yeah, it's just, it was really great looking at all the model buildings and stuff that they had and uh, showing you like in model how they used to mash down the poles, which used to take hours and hours just to, for a single one uh, or days. Um, but yeah, it was just really interesting. Now we're heading to the flower market, which is right near where the museum is. Um, we're just going through there just to have a look at it. Um, it's quite famous and it just, it looks really nice to look through. We're just gonna have some pancakes, very, very tasty, well, poffertures, um, little tiny pancakes, and you get to see those, because uh, I actually had those yesterday when I wasn't filming. They are delicious, definitely recommended. Um, get those when you're in Amsterdam. I put my icing sugar and um, syrup on, let's give it a taste. Wow. so many of these socks in these different areas like oh they're some of these are really tempting like um hang on around here you've got the lovely amsterdam design there look at this this looks so nice 
Oh, I really want it. I'm getting three pairs of socks. Nice Van Gogh style. Okay, so we're out of the busy, very, very busy street area with the flower uh, markets and everything like that. Um, we're just heading through the race museum again, uh, round to find the park. And I don't know where it is, but we'll just find it anyway and just have a bit of a rest up. We're walking past these wonderful gardens here outside the race museum towards Fondle uh -oh. Park for a little bit of a, a bit of calm and settle down. Um, it's quite windy right now, it's getting quite windy. Uh, I don't know <laughs> You can't, you can't shoot yourself out of a trombone to fly like an alien, and you can't build a bench with things. <laughs> So we're just sitting on the uh, Vondel sculpture, uh, which I'm going to show here, and it is really magnificent, but what happened was this park was originally named something else, but because of the sculpture it got nicknamed Vondel Park, and since it's been renamed, um, or rem, re, rebrand, Rembrandt it, Rembrandt. <laughs> So, we have got around two or three hours until we have to start travelling again to leave this amazing place. And I really don't want to leave, <laughs> but there we go. Um, I've really enjoyed it, it's been really, really fun. Uh, I am now going to head to get some last supper, some last chips. Um, because the chips and mayo are really, really amazing here. Uh, or maybe a croquette or something like that. Um, I could live in this park. <laughs> So just on that bridge there are padlocks um, which kind of symbolise for a lot of people uh, eternal attachment which is really awesome uh, and yeah it's just a really nice location for lots of photography. I've taken lots of photos uh, on my camera already and also on my phone. Uh, really nice. Right. Now we cross this very busy road for the penultimate time uh, in a very long time. Uh, <laughs> or it could be the final time if we get a tram over there, um, but we'll see. Uh, let's cross this road and get our suitcases. quite a bit of travelling. I am back home in the UK and I have thoroughly enjoyed this experience. I'm sorry Amsterdam for being scared to cross your road sometimes. I really, really, really enjoyed myself. I had such an amazing time going around the museums, doing all sorts of stuff, but I'm so tired right now. Um, I have got to sleep. So, 
If you like this video, give it a like. If you're new, subscribe. Uh, I'd love to do more traveling in the future and I cannot wait to go to bed. <laughs>